are some ways that I can combine being a mom and being a nerd? Well, I guess I could make a list of baby names from video game characters. And not just any video game characters. I don't want to get to like the raw, boring ass stuff that everybody's already heard of like a million times. No, I'm not going to be sitting here telling you to name your daughter Zelda. Zelda! Link! I'm not going to tell you to name your son Mario. Hey, paisanos! Mario! Nana. Mario! Mario! You're an idiot! Mario! 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 You're an idiot! Don't name your kid Mario! Name him Mario! Mario! Idiot. <laughs> so, while I was pregnant with Kalina and Chase and, uh, Una and Killian, I tried to come up with game related baby names because why wouldn't I want to, you know, pay tribute to my favorite gaming characters of all time? I wanted to do things in a way that it wasn't like obvious that they were video game character names. Like I said, we're not going to be naming our daughter Zelda. That topic is not going to come up in here. Actually, it is. We got a sneaky workaround for that one. Let me tell you, girl. So if you guys are expecting a baby and you have a partner who is not really interested in gaming, such as me, Brandon's not a big gamer, but you want to kind of just like slip in a video game baby name to your partner, unknowing to them, I have the perfect list for you. So please keep listening, because we're gonna go over it. If you haven't been in my channel before, my name is Jamie Lynn, and I am the Healthy Nerd Mom, and today is the first time that I am combining nerd and mom, and I'm just like super stoked about that. I wasn't sure how to marry the nerd topics with the mom topics in my YouTube videos, and I think this might be well on the way to something really juicy. So I hope you guys stay tuned for more. I am gonna be making more videos like this. Please, 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 Please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here. Like I said, this is Jamie Lynn. We got a really cool community. Actually, we have a really cool gaming community as well. So thank you and welcome to all you gamers. I love you. Thank you all so much for your support continually forever. Please like this video. It helps this video get into the YouTube algorithm better and more people will be able to name their kids something nerdy, which is what we're all about right now. Let me tell you. The boydom? The boydom? So if you're wondering, Una, Killian, Chase, and Kalina, none of them have video game inspired baby names, although a lot of people did ask me if Una was actually Yuna from Final Fantasy X, and that was also not the case. But you know what? Let's not delay or yap anymore. Let's just get right into this list, okay? The very first name on my list is from the Elder Scrolls series. The name is Meridia. Meridia is actually a Daedric Prince, and she is a Daedric Prince of Light. She despises everything that is undead. So that is, to me, like the coolest freaking name. I literally put it at the top of my list. Like, it's kind of like, you know, if somebody's really interested in naming their child Meredith or has somebody in their family named Meredith, you could easily, like, slip Meridia in there. Like, what a cool freaking name. And I feel like it would pair really, really well with any kind of like really whimsical no. middle name. I just think it's the coolest name ever. Our next name on the list is actually from the Borderlands series and that is the name Axton. I came across this, I actually have never played any of the Borderlands games, but the character had, um, he had been in several of the Borderlands Chronicles and his name just sounded so flipping cool. I really had to put it in here. It's spelled really neat. I like it. It's a good alternative to something like Alex or Axel. Axton is a very neat name. So next up on my list, I actually have two female names that I'm going to bring to you. These are from World of Warcraft. If you guys don't know anything about me, my favorite game of all time is World of Warcraft. I absolutely adore that game. I've been playing it since the day it came out. So when I first got into it, even though I've always played Alliance, my favorite character was always Lady Sylvanas. I just freaking adored her. I adored the lore, her story, and then she kind of lit my world tree on fire, so I've been pissed at that bitch. So the next 
two names are actually the names of her sisters. The first is her sister Illyria. I absolutely love that name. It's so pretty. It's so whimsical. And her other sister is Berisa. So those names are so beautiful. They're gorgeous high elves. I absolutely love World of Warcraft. I really love the Windrunner sisters lore. I think they're really enchanting characters. I think they're beautiful. I really love how Illyria consumes the void and turns into the dark elves. I've played as the void elves and I really enjoy that a lot. I just believe that their characters have some really cool lore. My next name then, sticking with World of Warcraft, male name is Anduin. Anduin Rin is the young prince who originally appeared in the original World of Warcraft. He was just a little boy. Now he's grown and he will become the king. And I really like his character as well. I've always liked him. Obviously there's plenty of people that don't like him, but the name itself is really cool. And I think Anduin makes an amazing boy's name. Next name, we're really deep diving here to some side characters. So I hope that you guys enjoy this type of content. This next name is one of my all time favorite Final Fantasy characters, though she doesn't have a lot of time in game or on screen, even in cutscenes. This is the character Lucretia or Lucretia from Final Fantasy VII. She was the love interest of Vincent Valentine and supposed mother of Sephiroth. And I just have always adored Lucretia and I've always wanted to hear a lot more about her. Her name is very cool. She has a very important role as one of the last remaining ancients. She's very important to the storyline of Final Fantasy VII, so I definitely wanted to bring her up, even though she's a very deep side character. I think she's very important and she has a gorgeous name, and I think it would make a fantastic girl's name. The next name is really taking a spin-off. Recently, Yoko Toro's games Nier and Drakengard have gotten a lot of interest, but the original Drakengard that I played way back in the early 2000s was the very first Drakengard, and the main character, his name is Kaim. And I don't know why, the name's very simple and short. I always thought that Kaim would make a really cool boy's name. Kaim's story and the original Drakengard 1 game, if you've ever played it, you know how dark and screwed up it is. Like, it's freaking out there, bro. It's out there. And I love it. I really love Drakengard. I really love dark and disturbing games. So Kaim would be a great boy's name. Next, we're going to spin it into the other direction of not so disturbing, but maybe a little bit disturbing still. Yorda from Ico. Yorda is the very whimsical little girl who meets little boy Aiko, the horned child who was forsaken and left to die in the evil queen's castle. She's a very selfless soul. She is a soul of light, always um, the shadow people are always after her. It's basically Aiko is like the longest, most annoying escort mission. For those of you that play escort missions in video games and hate them like most of us do, I actually really enjoy Aiko and I think it's one of the best games that I've ever played personally. The story is really endearing and beautiful and Aiko and Yorda are such beautiful little characters and I really have always enjoyed that game. So Yorda is just a very unique name that you could name your daughter. My next name we're going to throw back to Final Fantasy. Again, we're going back to Final Fantasy V. I believe he's from V. Cecil. Cecil is the Dark Knight. He's kind of revered for that really cool role and I think it would make a pretty cool boy's name. Next, also in Final Fantasy, we're going to go with Final Fantasy XIV, Elise. She is one of the twins. Her and Alpha No are twin brother and sister. I always really liked her. I liked her attitude and I think her name sounds really pretty. Alice Leveilleur Alize. Anyway, her name sounds kind of French in a way, but she is a really cool character. I love her role in Final Fantasy XIV. I like her and her brother as characters in the game and how Hey! Hey! Okay. Regardless, Ali say, even though it would be just really overwhelming if somebody saw that on their kindergarten roster, I think it's a really beautiful name and would make a great little girl's name. Now we're going to kick it in another direction into a darker series, one of my all-time favorite series of all times, Castlevania. And before I deep dive into this list of names, I want you guys to know that I'm already planning 
a side video that is exclusively baby names from Castlevania because <laughs> Dude, it's just so cool. They have the coolest names. They have the coolest lore. They have the coolest artwork. I just love the Castlevania series. Um, when I was a really little girl, before I even entered school, Castlevania 2 was my favorite game of all time. And I even asked Santa Claus for it for Christmas. Like, I don't know why, because I really, really sucked at it. But I just thought the game was so enchanting. I've always liked kind of dark things and vampires. And so we're definitely going to do an entire Castlevania baby name spinoff series. If you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments. Because why the hell not? So the first name from Castlevania I have is Julius. Julius Belmont ultimately is the one who first defeated Dracula, or I guess I should say contributed to the end of his demise. He's been in quite a few Castlevania games. He is, of course, Julius Belmont. He's from the Belmont family, so he's a very important role in all of those games. Like I said, sticking with Castlevania, I'm going to go on to another name that is Shinoa. Shinoa, I mean, that name just sounds so cool. It almost sounds Gaelic. It's got a whimsical feel to it. Shinoa herself is like a really neat character. I think she's really beautiful and I think the name Shinoa just sounds so like enchanting and mystical almost. Why wouldn't you want to name your daughter that? That is so freaking cool. The next name, we're actually going to go with Assassin's Creed. I kind of threw this in here because I think my stepson just is totally over the moon with the Assassin's Creed series. Um, so Ezio. Ezio. He is the main character in the Assassin's Creed series. He's a really neat character. And uh, there's a lot of... So there's a lot of parents naming the kids Ezekiel and Isaiah. Why not Ezio? That's really cool. You can sneak that in there. You don't really necessarily have to say, oh, it's from Assassin's Creed video game. Like, I don't think anybody's going to ask you that or realize that, except unless they're, like, really freaking cool. So why not? The next name, this is one of my favorites and a name that I actually considered for Kalina and I did try to sneak it in to my husband but he just didn't like the name but I think it's a really freaking cool. Obviously you don't have to be like really obvious and name your daughter something like Zelda. Obviously Robin Williams did that and Zelda Williams has a lot of fame and she's even been used by Nintendo for like interviews and commercials and stuff with the Zelda series which is really awesome actually. But if you want to name your daughter Zelda but you don't want it to be obvious you can go the alternate route and name your daughter Hylia. Hylia is, well, if you played Ocarina of Time, you would realize that the name is obviously Lake Hylia. And if you have played further into the game series, you would realize that Zelda comes out as being a reincarnated version of the goddess Hylia. So you could name your daughter Hylia. I think it sounds very pretty and it's kind of whimsical and obviously you're definitely naming your daughter Zelda but you're not being too obvious about it and I think that's super cool. My next name is from one of my favorite games of all times and one of my favorite characters in that game because he's so cool and handsome and I want him to be my baby daddy. That is Ulfric Stormcloak from the Elder Scrolls, the Skyrim series. Ulfric was a Jarl and he was just burly and had like long hair and lots of bulging muscles and he was yummalicious. He was my Skyrim crush. I think I tried to get my character to marry him but he was like super not interested in me. Rude. Anyway, that would make an awesome Ulfric. Obviously, is a really cool badass name for a little boy. Why wouldn't you want your kid named after him? Like, what a total badass. Next up, this is from the Soul Calibur series, which I don't actually have a lot of experience with, but the name Tira and the character Tira, she is really pretty. I really like her moves and all the cool fighting moves that she does. I don't know much about her otherwise, but she's been in a ton of Soul Calibur games, and the name itself is very simple and very pretty and I just like the way it sounds just it just rolls right off the tongue Tira my next name I wanted to try to throw something a little bit more basic in here so that's where we're going with this this is Simon Simon Ghost Riley from Call of Duty he's in like a ton of Call of Duty games I've played a lot of Call of Duty games I don't get too into them I don't get too into the story modes but um, Simon was somebody that came up a lot Obviously, you could also throw this back to Castlevania and go with Simon Belmont, 
which is really cool too. The name Simon in general is just really neat and I've always kind of liked that name. So I definitely wanted to throw that in here as well. The next name that I'm going to announce is probably like the most obvious gamer related name and that is the name Siri from The Witcher. Obviously if you guys have played The Witcher then you know that Siri is like one of the main characters in the game. I haven't played too much of The the Witcher but again I really like short and simple names and Siri is just such like a unique simple name that you don't really hear a lot and I thought it was really cool and I definitely had to add her name to the list because I thought it would make a fantastic little girl's name. Next we're gonna go into the Metal Gear Solid series which is just one of the most amazing and most cinematic and crazy amazing games ever. Hideo Kojima produced and created the Metal Gear series so I definitely had to throw some names in there from that. The first name that I have is boy's name Adamska or Adam who uh, was Ocelot. Ocelot was my favorite character in the Metal Gear Solid series and I thought the name Adamska was really cool. It's not quite Adam but it's something else. It's got a little on the end there so I just thought that was a really cool name and I wanted to add that in here for a list of unique boys names. Next from the Metal Gear Solid series is Ava. Ava was just one of my favorite characters. She's absolutely beautiful. The name Ava, obviously there's a lot of little girls named Ava but how many of them are named after the character from Metal Gear Solid? She is absolutely cool. She's been in Metal Gear Solid 3 and 5. I've always enjoyed her character and I think that would make a fantastic little girl's name, especially if you snuck it in there as being from the Metal Gear Solid series. You'd be pretty freaking cool. My very last name on the list is from the Demon's Souls games, which I suck at. But my best friend AJ, he really is like a badass at Demon Souls. So I actually really liked the name Doran, which is the old King Doran. He is in the Demon Souls games as like some lore or something. I don't remember because I was so busy being depressed because I was getting my ass beat that I didn't really pay too much attention to much in Demon Souls. Nor did I pay attention to much in Bloodborne, though I think I made it a little bit further in the Bloodborne game, but Demon's Souls just kicked my ass. But Doran is a really neat, kind of just really strong boy's name. I really like strong boy's names. So if you guys like strong boy's names, you should probably watch some more of my videos because there's gonna be a lot in there, okay? So guys, I already have a follow-up idea four more video game related names. I have another video game related name series. I have two more follow-up videos that I'm already working for. Kalina's eating a crown, a black crown. They're non-toxic. Guess I'll stop her. Don't eat the crown. It's not yummy. It's not good for you. It's not good for you. I don't got your vitamins. No. 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 No, 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 no. Are you going to be that kid that eats crayons? Are you? Are you? No, Kalina, no. I have two more video ideas already for baby names that are related to gaming. Specifically, we are going to explore a Castlevania series and then a gothic gaming series baby names because I'm super into like everything dark and spooky. I kind of got like a dark soul girl. You know what I mean, girl? You know what I mean? I like that dark stuff. I like Halloween. I like gothic shit. You know what I mean, girl, girl, girl. So we are going to be doing more videos just like this one. So if you're interested, like I said, please subscribe. Please leave your requests for what kind of names you would like to see in a subsequent video or if there's a series that you'd like me to explore that you think just has some bomb names or send your suggestions to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Always happy to have you here watching me attempt to make YouTube videos while fighting my children and trying not to have them like tip over my tripod or ruin my lights or eat crayons. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Good night and goodbye. It is a terrible.